you know, like I wanted to think that you know Weezy was a good guy. Weezy's not a good guy. I'm sorry. He's, he's you're not he's, the first person. Oh come on, Chris. He's not a good guy. You know Weezy's a good guy. Um, yeah. Well, what I'm has he done? What, what has Weezy ever he's done? He's just obnoxious, <laughs> and he's he's uh, over. He's overpowering. He's demanding. And okay, does that make he, him a bad guy? Are you talking about? Yeah, he's, he's a fucking dweeb. He really is, and I wanted to like him as as much as everybody else, but. I just had a chance to listen to that thing the way he tried to do me. He wants to roll me up like a T Bob. You can't roll me up like a T Bob. He won't let me get two words on my mouth without making me get louder and louder and louder. You know, I would let him talk, and he the minute I go to speak, he's like, "Anyway, that doesn't change anything." I mean, that's that's just a dweeb. That's just childish. It's it's just it's an amateur. That's not how you debate somebody. You don't debate somebody by repeating the same fucking thing over and over and over. And, uh, you know, what he did was nothing big, and it's being made into some huge thing, and it's not, it's it's just a... Oh, my God. Two people want me to fucking join? Fine, I'll join. So, you know, everybody can pretend... That's that the official all, CAF Discord. I know. I'm not going to talk, I'm not gonna talk anymore. Gonna... I hate talking when nobody listens, so I'm not going to talk. No, we're listening, Chris. We're just handling... No, oh, you're not. Right? I heard what you said about Leaf. Yeah, about Weez is that you know he all talks about himself twenty four seven. Doesn't give you time time to answer. I heard what you said. Sorry, I just no. But, but think, but just look at what who. I mean, he argued with T Bob. Who 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 does that? Who who argues with Jerry? I mean, most of us give Jerry about three minutes, and we're we're done. We've Chris, had you've argued with both of those people. Uh, you yeah, about? three minutes. Four minutes tops. He's he's argued with them for an hour, forty five minutes. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I get your point. I do hate when he gives um, Bob that much attention, but it's kind of hard to ignore it sometimes. When Bob, this like, is the problem me. with this guy. He thinks he's as smart as you, and he's not even close. Okay, I don't mind listening to somebody that's intelligent and got an education because it's obvious, Chad. You are intelligent and you have an education. I don't want to listen to some fucking dirt bag that lives in a fucking town of, you know, 80,000 people thinks he's the smartest person in the room. He's not. He's a dweeb. He's a dweeb. I've heard his guitar playing. He wouldn't even be a bar band. I don't know, voice. Chris, man. I think he wouldn't be a boy really, band. He's very he intelligent. Be a bar band. He's not very intelligent. I think he's not. You, I'm not going to argue. Disagree. He's not. Well, then Look, disagree. I don't care. You're entitled facts to your, your opinion. You know, I'm just saying that. Proof is in what people do. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm glad you do because you know that's trolling me. Because if you wanted to be honest, you say, Yeah, I get I'm it. I'm not the trolling. Guy. I'm not trolling. It's just my the opinion, guy's, Chris. The guy eats common grass. Okay, come on. Man. He's, he's a who common Who would you he, compare his intelligence to? Sorry, I'm eating dinner, but who would you say his intelligence is, is on it's par not with? Even about, it's not even about intelligence. It's about somebody that's so persistent to be right when they're in. I mean, as far as being involved in her show, she made a statement. She wants loyalty from people that show up. And that's the one rule she has. And then it doesn't matter what this cunt did or didn't do. It's like he goes nine months, and, and then he gets accused of being unloyal, and he's, like, trying to defend it, and he's trying to say, I'm so stubborn, nobody's going to tell me what the fuck to do. I mean, you know, he's going to stand on that over and over and over like nobody i don't give a fuck what anybody thinks but i'm supposed to give a fuck about what he says about me going to her building for 30 minutes i gotta listen to 20 minutes for i have to bow down to him and apologize and i have to give a fuck with some dweeb in eureka california wants to go over and i got to smoke pot probably since he was 14 finally quit smoking it and all he's been doing is raging ever since he he needs to go back on the fucking weed you know what chris i always forget that is how he he joined CAF, right? Because he came on to address you. So I, I, thing, I can understand to why. even rage on that. It was it was more interesting that an accomplished broadcaster was in agreement with it, and he had to out. He tried to outshine a professional broadcaster with forty year career, you know. And he wants to jump up there and you know really turn it on. And and once he got his attention, he got. He got. He wanted more and more and more. It was like you know potential co host and now he thinks that he's at this level because of nine months. First of all, she throws around labels like, you know, fucking food stamps. I mean, I mean, come on. Co-producer, co-hostess. Who's drawn an income from, it, from it, this? Nobody. Yeah, but Chris, little... 
holding a grudge against him. What he said. I don't hold a grudge. I don't care. I just okay. I, I think what I what I don't like is that I participate in this stuff because I'm very unhappy right now. Would it be fair to say that maybe you actually do care a lot about Weezy and you do like? No, him? I don't. No, absolutely not. One, really, two, Chris? One, but after yesterday and and the way he's, you know, his only f- claim to fame is I went into a building. What is this guy hiding? I can you know, see what you mean. We do come to podcasts for fun and shit, but I, I have struggled with anxiety. And, and some, of, and some of the fights, yes, and some of the fights it. are kind of funny and silly. You know, when it's about campaigning, or you know, we're arguing about who won a fucking singing contest, or you know, I mean, it's like this is trying to say that I'm a fucking goddamn rapist, that I'm a fucking stalker, that I'm a creepy motherfucker that's a danger to fucking single women. I'd fucking cut his fucking balls off and stuff him down his throat if he ever said that to me in person. Who's saying that about That's you? That's a fact. That's a fucking fact. Who said that, Chris? That's what he's insinuating. I'm some kind of rapist fucking stalking creep. I went oh, into the building I've to never do a heard video Clear Cider. That was the whole motivation. We found it. I filmed it. I dedicated it to Clear Cider. Oh, I talked to Clear Cider in it. But, oh, it's all about EJ. Oh, you're going to go up to a room. And that's really creepy. And, you know, and, and for another thing, I've mentioned this for the last fucking time. Okay, I have. This, this is it. I, you know, this guy wants to go on and on. I don't give a fuck. He doesn't want to, he wants to be an ignorant fucking stubborn cocksucker about stuff that has no actual reality to it about a stupid podcast and being a co-host or not being a co-host or being loyal or not being loyal. But this guy's trying to label me as a goddamn serial rapist. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I've never heard him say that. Yeah, I've never heard him say that either. You're exa- you're exaggerating. You're just mad that he called you out for going to Elise. I'm not mad about nothing. I'm mad about the fucking we're all supposed to fucking listen to this chump and think he's some nice guy. He's not a nice guy. He's a fucking moron. You know, when there's a nice guy like this guy talking right now, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get mad if the, if this group starts, you know, saying, "Hey, this guy Evan, he's really a nice guy. He's a lot of fun. He's and Darren." I'm, so far, what I've heard today, I would agree. But you're gonna take some fucking goddamn pothead, fucking failed musician, a, probably a failure at everything he's ever done. He probably has family members that won't even speak to him. It's so fucking obvious. It's like you guys want to make a hero out of Danny, and you want to make a hero out of this fucking guy named Weasel. They can't play guitar. Okay. I didn't grow up around unprofessional musicians. I grew up around professional musicians that became famous as goddamn you could get. I'm not going to listen to some asshole that can barely play the guitar. And I'm like, oh, God, there's such a good guitar player. Bullshit. No, but yeah, no, generally this is how I am, Kleenex. You know, and it's like they just want to trigger me because they're like, oh, yeah, this is such talent. This this is such, oh, my God, this is such a special person. It's not a special person. It's a fucking dweeb. It's a shut-in that needs to get out more often and live in the real world. Jesus Christ. They just, they, and, you know, and they always got their flavor of the month. It, it, it's like they always bring the dumbest fucker they can find, and that's the one. Oh, let's uplift this dumb motherfucker and cram this dumb motherfucker up you know, into the program, and we all supposed to like, oh, isn't this great? I mean, they bring up Charmin, a mentally ill. It was it was actually pathetic to see somebody that man. Oh, but let's make Charmin out to be the queen when she's nothing but struggling with mental illness, severe mental illness, like scary level, like brain level mental illness. But we're going to make that person so endearing and so wonderful. And I mean, give me a break. Enough with it already. You know, and then like Cappy's so great. Cappy's a fucking moron. But that's what they want. They want the morons. They want the fucking mental ill people. Oh, they're so great. They're so intelligent. Yeah, don't you see how smart they are? <laughs> hey, Chris, I just want to remind you that um uh Leaf King's in chat. He's probably recording. I hope you're not saying something. I don't give a shit. Okay, okay. I'm just giving you a it's heads a up. Podcast it's a 30 people listen to, they pay for numbers to have more, or there is 120 people there live, which why I'll never understand why 2,000 people listen to this crap and there's so much more to, to listen to and be a part of than this damn thing. And then, I, oh my God, we're doing such great work. We're such a part of such a great community. You're, you're a community of full of fucking pissed off, 
retard rejects from society that nobody would even speak to in an elevator, a little on listening to on a podcast for an hour, me included. But don't people like that deserve to have a voice? No. No, they don't. That's why they don't have a voice. No, they don't deserve a voice. Chris, what do you think about the claim that you're lashing out at Sharon because you're still upset that she had the, like revealed that you had been hitting on her? I never hit on her. That's all I'm lies. just saying she that never... she said that. Of course I have she not, did. I have, I have not you seen know, proof I that you did, but hat- I'm just saying she did say that. Let me tell you who I, I, I stopped burying the hatchet with. Because when I see everybody, you know, we all are aware how mentally ill she is. At first, I just thought she was eccentric, uh, over the top, kind of a ball buster, kind of a, you know, a power... You know, she's one of them women with a chip on her shoulder. I thought it was just a lot of, you know, she's got revenge for men or she's got to, you know, and that's because you can have horrible relationships can cause that. She probably, you know, I'm thinking, okay, she was battered in a marriage. She was battered, you know, in, in relationships and she's now got a chip on her shoulder. But when I started seeing the mental illness unwinding more and more, I said, oh my God, uh, no harm, no foul. I'm not going to make fun of the mentally ill. I'm not. Um, I never sent her one DM, not iota never sent her dm i don't dm anybody you know I'm you DM'd. never sent Charmin a dm never never not once because i first came at her real hard thinking she was just a ball busting bitch you know and i would do the little videos about the recaps and i said look at those crazy eyes and i was trying to make fun of it but when i saw the mental illness in full sunlight and display i stopped but why would i dm somebody like that not in the you know, I'm getting sick and tired of me. Oh, he's just a fucking, he's trying to get with this girl. He's trying to get with this. I don't DM anybody hardly at all. And I never have been having the DMs. And even if I did, so what? So what? But I very, I mean, it's just overall, the stupidity just continues. And we're all, oh, it's such a great place to be. It's so inviting. And, you know, this positive, it's a fucking toxic cesspool of a bunch of insane, hateful, demented Kleenex, people. that's why I generally left the sober to begin with. And I nicest, didn't want to deal with it. And you know what, Evan? The nicest people hardly ever speak. But do we really have to glorify absolute fucking imbeciles all the time? Really? Everybody that comes on is like a who? Wild. Who would you say? The I'm not talking... Okay, but see, that's the reason why the show can be watchable because she will have a good guest to have a professional come on but then it, it's a short little interview and then it's back to the whack pack it's 90 percent whack pack bullshit and fighting nonsense and then it's a couple good guests tossed in here and there because she gets bored with real interviewing and i mean and let's do some math here okay she's 33 <laughs> right so how old was she in 1992 when she posed in fucking playboy it said clearly 22 yeah okay but now she's 33, but she's been working on her craft for 20 years. Well, you started at 13. You know, it's just, you know, when you can't even tell the truth about your age, why believe anything Chris, else about you? But Chris, come on, man. That's a like woman literally is shedding women, 10 years off her age. Is it really that big of a deal if, uh, it is. if why a woman is like shaving a few somebody, years off her age? If somebody so ashamed of their age. And they're lying about their age, and they maybe love she's they just can... having fun with it. You and, know, and like maybe she knows, it's not she knows funny that people because might know how old she is, and she everybody likes to have fun. knows how old she is. But the okay. thing is, I she mean, knows. she doesn't look then young. What's the big you deal? What's the big deal? If that's the case, Chris, what's the big deal if she's saying uh, giving a different number that's younger? I mean, when you're just talking about the most basics, about the most who cares? Most is. women, most women will do that, Chris. It's not a big deal. Ten I'm, years. I'm... So what? So what? Ten years of age. I wouldn't care if Elisa was saying that she was 21. Because you, know, you do the same thing. You've been trying to tell everybody you're in your 30s. Care. You've been trying to tell me you were in your 30s. And it's obvious by the, the experiences you've had and the things you mentioned of having memory. <laughs> you've got to be a guy in your mid-40s, at least. <laughs> or you read a lot of goddamn books. Yeah. <laughs> you, still, you sure know a well, lot of pop culture from a generation that's ahead of you for somebody that's supposed to be not even be 40 yet. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Well, I've you're never, not, I haven't said what well, I haven't said. You're not on camera. Those are all your speculations. It's not just the age part. It's the, I love you, love you, love you shit. I, I don't like people in life or in any kind of thing. That all the thing that I love this person. I love, you don't love anybody. You don't, you barely love yourself. 
And these people that, that are mentally ill that believe that she loves them. And are you talking they, about me or are you talking about Elisa? You both do it. Oh, both. Okay. Her more because wanted... she, does a, she does a podcast. You don't. These people don't love any of these people. These people barely love themselves. I don't know, Chris. I think that if I dislike someone, I'm pretty open about it. <laughs> well, you're also a sycophant. And, and you, you go along with the group thing. I mean, I'm no, sure I think I'm the was... opposite. I think that I, yeah. actually, I like to think that I'm the I mean, opposite. You only call people out like me, Danny. And, when are you yeah. going to call out the host? I only bullshit. call out people that I feel need to be called out. Yeah, what's yeah. up, Danny? But, but the host of the show can lie like a goddamn fucking lawyer in a goddamn court against fucking, you well, what know. What is she lying about? You're just, you're so, she you're lies so until she opens her fucking mouth. You're, you're so what hung is, up on what her What does she age. tell the, because, no, it's about, she lies about a lot of that. shit. She lies about a lot of shit. Well, give me another example, then. Uh, I, Besides I the age, because I don't see the age. I don't oh, by the way, Chris, too. Chris, Chris, maybe we should, like, just take it down a notch. I'm not trying to rile you up, okay? I don't want you getting upset. Yeah, you're in your mid thirties, right? Yeah, I'm uh, Lisa. I'm same age as Lisa. What is thirty three? I don't care. I don't care. I'll become Leaf. I don't care if you guys don't want to worship this fucking cunt. She's a vapid cunt. Period. I'll give Benji people different friends. ages all the time. Benji, who spent six years with her, called her a vapid cunt. He talks about her maturity level of a child. What did he say over and over? I just want to have a relationship with an adult person. That gets a fucking job and makes a living. But now we got to hear seven years later about how she's had five careers and she's been on top of her class. Well, oh, Chris, shit. Chris, the other day when Danny called Elisa and she picked up right away, you were typing in chats that how that kind of angered you because she won't take your phone calls anymore. I Do you don't think want that? Her to take my phone calls. But don't you think that that's probably no, no, because no, you no, talk no, like no, this? No, 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 you know? no, I don't care. I don't care. I act like I do. I matter. I don't care. It seems like sometimes care. you do care, and maybe there are no. days you don't care, but sometimes you do. I care that I keep getting accused of so much shit. And no matter how many times I try to set the record straight, I get accused of it even more. And how everybody new motherfucker that rolls up along is going to talk about all this bullshit that's never been true about me ever. You know, I'm not going to keep going through recycle with every new motherfucker that shows up. Um, I really feel like if you did get shut the fuck free, up leaf i know baton rouge like the back of my hand <laughs> what if i could keep running your fucking goddamn what? nigger lips to me fucking hey, give me your address yo. baton rouge i got a really good friend in bozier city that's dying of cancer i need to go visit anyway so keep talking shit and me and you can go meet in a fucking parking lot you fucking simp you fucking fake ass motherfucker chris calm down um I just really feel like your life would be your Bash quality your of life. brains and you fake fuck. Chris, you're, you're just Kenneth with a better vocabulary. You moron. Chris, what? I feel like your bipolar is it's, it's untreated. And 90% and of the people. And you know what, Chad, uh, news alert. 90% of the people that do suffer from mental illness in our country. Probably. You're probably, I'm just right. lucky. I'm not living in a box, right? With a bottle. of Yeah. Fucking, uh, I mean, I'm just yeah, saying, like, the there's stuff you can do to, like, there's there's treatment options, I'm sure. I don't really know much about it, but... Okay, the world is saying, Talk to a doctor. Right now, talk to right. a The world is about ready to implode if things don't change. They can change put you on some kind of medication. Yeah, is don't medication just go, like, read an online article on like some people do is, and think is, is that they, like, understand gonna it. Is medication going to stop what's happening with inflation and the world we live in today? Is, is any medication going to not take that sanity down a couple of levels? I don't know. I don't know enough about bipolar treatments or anything like that to uh, really stop, have a comment. Stop on throwing it. on the label bipolar. But I'm, I'm saying look I, into it. Why I don't need to look into it? it. I was tested for bipolar and came up yeah. not. There's certain. There was a, like a two hour test. What do you mean now, now? I don't know what I have. I've been saying that you are. I don't yeah, understand. Because, hey, if you're going to keep saying I am, I might as well. Okay, I'm bipolar. Is that give me a break? Does that give me a? Oh. Do oh, I get a free on, pass? Now we're back to. Now we're back to zero. I don't know what the fuck I am. Well, look into it, man. I'm just saying. You know, there's why some, don't there's you people fix you instead of stop telling label what the fuck's wrong with you? How about let's I'm just fucking be revolting with okay, the bullshit. Dad. I just yeah, and that's fine too, Evan. That's fine. Just I'm let just him be it. Like, it doesn't hurt for him to look into it. I understand it's, it's, maybe, it's, uh, like he, there he might be some medication that could off. Let the guy fucking be Kleenex. I actually see you as a okay. better fucking human opening up about yourself. But they don't. These people have more weird shit about yeah, them. I have to say, Evan, you're right. You are I still have anxiety, depression, a, a tough my family took care of me. And for you to say that, the only thing I know what they enjoy is enjoying raising people. These cocksuckers are a bunch of demonic, 
fucking evil fucking spoiled shut-ins that love making people angry. But hold That's on a their second. fucking MO. They're all trolls. They want to do nothing but enrage you. No, and I'm then not. when you finally have had enough and you get loud, they go, Yay! We did no. it! We did it! Yay! I've been trying to I've been trying to take it down a notch. Chris, all I'm saying is that maybe talk to someone and look into options. That's it. That's all I'm that's all I'm suggesting, okay? If you don't have bipolar, if you don't have something, that's fine. You can find out and know that problems. for sure. I'm, I'm if you do, then have, at least you can talk to yeah, a professional about it. That's, it. that's all I'm saying. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't finish getting my teeth fixed, okay? I now, now long have insurance. What makes you think I got money to, for fucking therapy when I don't even have money I just to assumed my teeth that fixed? you were on an insurance plan. With no, your I'm not. First time in my <laughs> life. Nowadays. First time in my life to not have insurance. The last, what, 10 okay. months? Okay, well, that does first change things. That does limit your options, of course. I'm never going to apologize to you, you fucking simp. Kiss my ass. Who? Apologizing you anymore. Oh, Leap King, can you tell him to apologize to me? Fuck you, you fucking faggot. Hey, but Chris. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm going to read something that Leap King... Well, you can just look in chat. He just posted a screenshot. You know what? You're a fucking piece of shit. You're a fucking scumbag. Everybody that meets you don't like you, Elisa. You're fake and phony and a super... A fucking pathetic, no talent, vapid cunt. Now smoke right. that, bitch. I don't right, give calm, a fuck calm, calm, what a fucking vapid cunt Chris, Chris. like you that is taking advantage of people and spooned and fucking lead stop of people your whole fucking life. You don't got nothing on your own. You haven't achieved nothing but what an ignorant fucking cunt can achieve. If you weren't attractive, nobody would even give you the time of day, you miserable bitch. Now go hang yourself. Cunt. No, come on, Chris. Calm down. Calm down. Don't fucking don't react cunt. that way. See, hey, Chris. Hey, Kleenex. Kleenex. You need to stifle yourself, man. You need You're to fucking... blow me, you fucking faggot. No, no. I'm I'm your fucking peer, dude. You need ah, to fucking you're not my calm fucking the fuck peer. down. You, you need you to calm the to. fuck down. You don't need dude. to tell me what to fucking do. Yeah, you do. You're you're out of line, dude. I don't give a fuck. She's a cunt. So are you. No, she's yeah, not. Yeah, but don't tell her yourself, Chris. You know. Yeah. Well, like, now I know what. Now I know my brain always said that. I'm like, I just ask myself. <laughs> I just ask myself, why does this guy keep repeating hang yourself? Go hang yourself. Go hang yourself. <laughs> Go kill yourself. No, I'm starting hey, to understand. You, you know, there get... is a um, Kermit Town meetup that's happening in August. I, I think it would be great. If you... I wouldn't go have a cup of spit with none of you motherfuckers. Oh, come on. Chris, oh, you know that's not true. You actually think I'm You met a half meeting? dozen of us. Yeah, and, and it's, not ever, it's never going to happen again in life. Nah, no. Come on, Gonzo's no. going to be there. Elisa, Wait, you actually Annie. met up with people on the internet? You don't fucking like know. Like a dumbass. Oh, Kleenex. The one, yeah, Kleenex the one took guy a 10,000 mile was road in, trip, and he met but, yeah. um, Wombon. He met Smokey, oh, who's in here right now. Oh, my God. Wombon must, must, go 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 must have been crazy. Danny's going to be there. He met Brian from Jersey. He met Dipshit Mike. He met Brain. He met Brain, of all people. Brain. Yeah, that was a new attack. He met Elisa. Um... Who else? Big I mistake. I'm, wish the fuck I never would have gone. Am I forgetting wish someone? The fuck I never would have gone. I, 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 I really wish I'd, you know, that bitch ignore, ignored me for two and a half fucking hours talking to that piece of shit stuttering John. She didn't finally start talking to me until he fucking left. And then she was still more interested in talking to her goddamn roommate. I was like a fly on the fucking wall. It was like, so what? Big fucking deal. All the drama that I had to take the next day for ever even being dumb enough to meet the fucking cunt. Jesus Christ. Come on, I can't man. believe I'm you, waiting with everybody. Said, it must have been crazy as fuck. You said nothing but positive things um, immediately after you met her until you went on with uh, uh, my well, phone. Fool me once. You said that twice. she was so personable and kind and warm and no. just made you feel at ease the entire no, no, dinner. No, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Now she thinks she's God. She can suck my fucking rusty dick. You know, that was, my you know that was the best night of Kleenex's life. Right? Oh, the best night of my fucking life was my goddamn time that I spent in Utah and Moab seeing the, the golden arches. That was the best time in the I best lived, day of my life. Moab is beautiful. I love, yeah, I've been there before too. And guess what? I was all alone when I was in Moab. I'm just, I think what, I, I really think what, what set me off was Weezy yesterday when I went back and listened to that. That really lit my Weezy got nothing to do with this shit. It's all you. It's all you and your fucking bullshit. Yeah, well, let me have my bullshit. It's my bullshit. 
Let me have it. Well, okay, don't take it out on EJ. She got nothing to do with this shit. You He's a that. con. He's a con. Fuck. Oh, me. shut up, dude. Come on. You love her. And you know she's a cunt, and you just won't admit it. You're fucking scared. No, of I don't. Rap. She's not a cunt. I'm never going to pl- apologize to you, you fucking simp. Hey, I got to go to Bozier City to go see a guy dying of lung cancer. How far is Bozier City from fucking uh, from where you live? It's about two hours, isn't it? Fucking up with me? Yeah, exactly. Two hours. Fucking leaf faggot. Oh. You've been it's fucking. Calm down, dude. You've been fucking you're forced off, to turn you're it. You're out. You're all going off the rails, dude. Are you damn right? Because fucking Weezy got me really upset. I have an idea. I'm going to toss out a name of someone in calf, and I want you to give just like a quick opinion of that person, okay? Like, I don't want you to ramble on for like 10 minutes about him. Just make it quick, you know, like what your opinion is. All right. First one is, let's start with Leaf King. Leaf King. Two-faced simp. Simple-minded. Total simp. Okay. I, I disagree, and, and pro- but... And probably a fag. And probably a fag. Well, even if he was, is that it's not a bad thing. I don't think he is, but I'm just saying even if he was, so what? All right. Um, let's say Danny from L.A. Complete moron. Piece of shit. Alcoholic loser. <laughs> okay. Charmin. Alcoholic and retarded. Mentally ill, and I feel bad for her. Very bad for her. Okay. Coach Love. Uh, emotionally ill. Um, delusional. But okay. at least at least a sweet disposition, very sweet disposition. Let's okay. put it this way: I would never want to rage with her. There's no reason. To. You would never want to what? To rage on Coach Love. Oh, okay. Um, Trumpster Bob, complete piece of shit, should be hung in a fucking public square. <laughs> God. Okay, don't hold back, Chris. By all means, don't hold back. Okay, um, wit, wit's in. Mentally ill, boring, but least seems to have, um, which seems to have some kind of compassion, whether it be really real or not, he seems to have his compassionate moments. Um, definitely very immature for a man of 55. Extremely ma- immature. Okay. Uh, Johnny Bolton. A total stoner, pothead, uneducated, white trash, but got a heart of gold. Okay. Uh, his daughter, Lori. Absolute pigsty. <laughs> a pigsty? Absolute pigsty. Absolute. Just repulsive, gross, just complete. Mentally ill, so there's a little bit of passion. I have a little bit of compassion for her because she's mentally ill. But absolute horrendous pig. Horrendous pig. Okay. Andy Dick. Uh, extremely talented, threw it away with, with alcoholism and drugs. Pickle brain, probably going to be uh, nothing but an alcoholic and a piece of shit for the rest of his life. Uh, no redeeming qualities now, but it was extremely talented. Achieved a lot as a performer. Mm-hmm. It's, sad. it's sad. It's sad. I actually feel really, really bad for him. Okay, Corey Beffert. Absolute piece of shit. Alcoholic, loser, white trash. And retarded. Okay. And retarded. Okay. Captain Content. Um, self grandose, uh, narcissist, um, failure, um, pretentious, um, phony, and, and a simpleton. Not entertaining and not really all that, kind of dumb. And, and, a, and a coward. I hate cowards. I fucking hate cowards. Okay. Absolute his sidekick. Uh, his Gucci's the sidekick. Complete uh, toxic, alcoholic, drug addict, um, absolute horrific. But she she needs help. She could probably be a she could probably come out and be a, a really great person. Um, other than that, extremely gross. It's, it's okay, just, it's, it's a sad. It, it, I don't feel joy in her in her addiction. It's like an any day. It's it makes you sad. Okay, so much, uh, so much Jimmy the Christian. Potential. Jimmy the Christian, a lunatic, um, bipolar, uh, fancies himself as being uh, educated when he's really not that bright. Um, epic, epic, gonna fail again, um, but has somewhat an endearing thing about him that kind of makes him, you know, you want to like it. Okay. Um, 
Yelly Kelly. Uh, ball busting bitch. Got a big chip on her shoulder, but sweet as pie. But a ball buster. Okay. Somebody, somebody you don't want to cross. Yeah. Very compassionate, very caring, very feeling. Very real, but mm -hmm. is entertained by really stupid shit. So she loses a lot of points with me, the stupid shit she finds. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Elisa. Vapid cut. Phony is a $3 bill. Nothing interesting. No talent. Hack. Bipolar, mentally ill. Uh, extreme vanity. Extreme, you know, hateful. Mean-spirited. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really mean-spirited. Okay, that's enough. Borderline, um, borderline evil. Borderline evil. You want to get to the point. <laughs> Come on. Borderline evil. All right. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to censor you, but you can say what you want. Um, how about Kenneth? Uh, just another retard. <laughs> you know, just another slow adult. Okay. Kind of hard to make fun of being a retard. How about, uh, Bruce? You know who Bruce is? Absolute piece of shit. Absolute lion, mentally really? ill, uh, junkie, drunk, complete, complete dark, very, very very creepy and very dark. Anybody that says they're a nice guy over and over and over is good. Okay. How about um, Quigley? Remember Quigley? Quigley's eccentric, but I actually found him very endearing. Uh, a little strange. Um, very out there, but uh, I still think he is a genuine, a genuine person. But very odd. Very odd. Odd, but not mm. creepy. A little creepy okay. with the stuff with EJ, but you know he got he got in the he got in the EJ brain. You know what the fuck? Okay. Are they? How about Wappy? Absolute lunatic, sociopath, psychopath. No talent oh. hack. No talent hack. Um, there's a couple that were written in chat. Sorry, Leaf. Yeah, I, I didn't see it until now. Okay, Barry. Barry Mezzi. Autistic, good natured. But because of the autism and the Asperger's, extremely, extremely uh, difficult to handle a lot of times. Mm, yeah. What, Mush? Did he do me yet? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Mush. How about Mush? Two face, simpleton. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hothead. <laughs> um, insecure. Daddy's boy. Um, hmm. Pathetic loser. Okay, how about me? And don't hold back. You can say what Intelligent, you but hiding something. Um, kind of vindictive, kind of, kind of sadistic, and a bit of a narcissist. Okay, how about Ava? Bad shit, crazy, more mentally ill than... than, than um, more mentally <laughs> ill than... How about you? me? Yeah, you don't even really I'll get to you. I'll get to really, you. Really, really, really to the ones, I want to get to the ones that Leaf wrote in chat. Okay, Very mentally ill. Tony, Tony, Tony 2.0. Oh, God. Meza uh, suffers from manic depression, creative, has a kind mm -hmm. heart, but also is very, uh, very creepy and very, very vindictive. Okay, Evan, I know you just met him, but what's your first impression? Um, struggles with, you know, so, you know, some kind of syndrome. He's on the spectrum. But overall, doesn't, not, doesn't, not doesn't, all seem, no, doesn't seem to doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to grow teeth and fangs and want to gnash out and fucking uh you know devour people with their fucking bullshit <laughs> that's like true. you like okay. you all right how uh, about sky warp sky warp uh slow adult pathetic creepy um loser spoiled um rest of development whatever they call it and an absolute right. pain in, and an absolute pain in the ass wanbon that's a hard one. Extremely intelligent, but definitely suffers from some kind of perversions, some kind of odd, dark imagination. Okay, how about Gonzo? Um, vain, belligerent, cocky, and an overall asshole. <laughs> okay, how about Leah? Can't can't figure out. 
He's oh probably the only one. Oh my God. I can't. I don't. I don't, don't have. Need to, I don't have one. You just her. let him back in. I, I think she has vindictiveness. I think she has a very hateful sense of humor, and I think she's very petty. But at the same time, I think she's at least intelligent, and I think she either has mental problems or an alcohol. Okay. How about Forza? Very untrustworthy. Big backstabber. Um. A con artist, typical bitch from the Bronx. Um, I wouldn't trust her any further. I can spit. Very immature for a woman of her age. Okay, how about Lady K? Uh, Narcissus. Uh, suffers from addictions and probably from mental illness. And very extreme egomaniac. Egotistical. Okay. All right. Basically, about, Lady Kate's a narcissist, totally. <laughs> How about Dolly? Dolly's boring, just needy. That's it? Just boring and needy? Okay. Um, Super Tramp. Um, quite bright. Um, very compassionate. Even keel, even personality. Has uh, overcome his addictions and pretty good guy. Pretty good guy. Well, I can tell. Probably one of the okay. better people in the group. How about Jeff M? And by the way, Leaf King, if I'm forgetting some names, just, I, just a drunk with a chip on his shoulder, a very unhappy person that's been um, extremely isolated. Um, not the not the sharpest tool in the shed, but not also the most dull knife in the cabinet. He's he's not. A, Smart as he, he uh, thinks he is, but he's not as dumb. He's overall a guy that he's an alcoholic. Okay. How about uh, bologna sauce? Absolute pretentious phony. Uh, alcoholic. Um, eagle maniac. Cocky. Okay. Not, nothing, nothing really great about him. He's just a typical guy that's had, you know, achieve certain things and thinks you know he's better than others because of his achievements probably isn't a real violent guy but he tries to act like he's the toughest guy on the block he probably was when he was younger uh just cocky kind of belligerent but that also can make him charming extremely intelligent um but uh, does suffer from uh overinflated ego okay how about tricep bra have no clue no clue. Uh, Total no enigma. Clue. Total. I can't even begin to figure out what he is. <laughs> really? I have a love hate, have a love -hate relationship. Used to have some I have a love hate theories about I him. I hate the fact that he won't confide in me. And it would make me feel so special to be able to talk to him and nobody would ever know. So I hate him for that. And but then because he doesn't speak, I just can't figure him out. Um I admire him that he stays in shape and he takes his, his health real serious. But I find his stuff is either very quirky or it's pretentious and it's all fake. You know, his okay. fears of water, his fears of dogs. I mean, I, I can't figure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, brain. Absolutely insane. Um, I was actually actually very nervous meeting him. Um, really? I think I did. Like yeah, in what way? Like you good. thought that he might snap and become yeah, dangerous? I, I kind of thought that I may have to put him down a couple months. I, I, like like very physically put him around. down? Like we're oh, yeah. him? Yeah, yeah. Really? I kept, really? I kept it light. I kept it short. Yeah. Um, it's a complete insanity, um, like serial killer level, because the scary thing about brain is he's intelligent. He's not insane and stupid. He's insane and smart. To me, which is more scary. Yeah. But okay. Absolutely insane. How about Erica? Um, definitely an alcoholic and probably even bipolar. But definitely an alcoholic. A drunk. Just a drunk. Uh, violent, violent temper. I've heard the long, the long uh, forms that Jack sent me. She's extremely violent. Like my, mm -hmm. She's a screamer. She's physically violent like my mother. You can hear her beating a living shit out of brain. Yeah. And he's saying, please stop, please stop. Uh, my mother, but with booze. <laughs> okay. Um, how about Crystal? 
white trash, big mouth, egotistical, <laughs> junkie, alcoholic, has been lazy, liar, two faced. <laughs> okay. Huh. Pathetic. How about uh, that, Joey? Hard. Joey. Uh, Kelly Sun. He used to be a pain in the ass. I couldn't stand him. I thought he was stupid. He's actually, I know, but we're, yeah, but we're talking about now, present day. Uh, now I think he's great. I think he's achieved a lot. I think he's a beat his addiction. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's real sweet. I think he has a real kind heart. I think he's very compassionate. Pretty good guy. Yeah, I agree. Um, how about uh, Crimson? Probably the worst of the community next to K. <laughs> next to who? K Crystal. Crystal? You think Crystal's the worst? I think Crystal's one of the worst. Who would you say I is think the worst? Probably because there's no addictions being struggled with there is with K. But mm -hmm. being a, a drug addict and alcoholic, I'd say she is. That Crimson is? Absolutely toxic. Yeah. Categories of that is, you know, it's like her and Luna or Lori they don't have addictions. But they're just pigs of the absolute sows. Absolutely revolting and disgusting. In but the, you know who the, I hate the most out of this whole fucking group? You have any clue? Who? Myself. Oh. Myself. Well, how, okay, and Chris, how would you describe yourself? Be honest. This community has brought the worst out of me. I have tried <laughs> to make connections with people. It's blown up in my face every time. Um, I have completely exposed all my emotional and psychological problems over and over and over. I have bare my soul to be nothing but fucking stoned to death and be ridiculed. And it's been seven years of, at one time with some of the funnest times I had in social, social media, but it's also been some of the worst. It's been some of the worst lately again. And that's not so much the community. It's more what's going on in the world. And how I'm not capable to be like you, Chad, or other people that are still trying to make the best of what we have and enjoy what time we have left. I'm being too riled up by the world and the in the world that it's becoming. Yeah, I yeah, got really too riled. I, I got I really too do hate saying yeah, Chris. Yeah, and there's a lot of there's millions of people like me, so I'm not alone. I am not. By the alone. way, Chris, I just want to say thank you for this uh, interview and speaking with me. I actually have to hop off mic for a minute. I'm still going to be listening, so maybe you can talk to Mush for a minute. And he can ask you some names that I, I forgot. Talk about. That I'll tell you the person that disappoints me the most is I really wanted to trust and like Leaf. And I think what dropped the boom on him for me was I used to really be disgusted and jealous of uh, Robin. Robin has, she has money. She has comfort. Did she has, no, it's, it's more like, like a, you know, a buddy. But I used to be very envious of her lifestyle, her being so emotionally, you know, softy. Like, how can you be so blessed in life and have so much comfort and convenience and be such a, you know, emotional basket case? Um, I just don't like seeing her so, so sensitive because these people have really hurt her. And then they make fun of her. These people have hurt me for years. And it's just it actually, instead of making me more in pain, it's making me more angry. Because there's a lot more people a lot worse than me that get a pass all the time. I guess I want Lee to redeem himself. I want him to, to start thinking he's a good guy again. But, uh, you know, he recorded that shit. And I don't like the way he decides on what's vulnerable and what's not. You know, for him to be the, the person that decides when people should be given a break and not given a break. And she was extremely hurt by that recording. I've uh, not talked to her about it. I'm hoping maybe she's gotten past it, but at the time she was very hurt by it. But I think she's probably over it by now. I don't think that the scars are too deep. Yeah, well, maybe she has. And that doesn't, is that, get, okay, if that's what motivates you to do the same. Um, I don't know. I'm, an, I'm a boomer. Um, I, don't, I don't take advantage of women's emotions like that. If I see a woman hurt. I don't want to make a public display of it. Um, I think it's it's you know free reign with men, and fags that think they're women, but I think when it comes to a woman, that's the reason that we need to we need to. Leave. I don't know, man. I don't, maybe she didn't even really get that affected by it. Maybe there was something else going on. Maybe it had nothing to do with it. I don't know. 
I can't tell my left foot from my right foot right now, so I'm not anybody to be asking. Let's see. 